Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. I'm here today to do a review on the Obsession Fusion 7. Um, as you can see by looking at this bow, the this is a very sharp looking bow. I really like the design, I really like the overall look of it. The camos on this bow is one of the most, um, it's, it's an exotic camo, but it's one of the coolest camos that I've seen. And the options on these uh, Obsession bows are, there's just a huge variety of options you can get on here. You can see I've got a, a red anodized cam and I've got a Stormy Hardwood Original Riser uh, Black Lambs bow just absolutely looks outstanding, looks really cool. Um, some of the specs on this bow, IBO on this bow um, is 346 feet per second. This is a 32 and a quarter inch axle to axle bow and this is the 7 inch brace height version. There is also a 6 inch brace height version of this bow. Um, this has the uh, Fusion Cam with the Perfex uh, draw stop system on it. You can see we have a draw stop right here. Rotates around, hits your limb. Uh, one on top and bottom. These are adjustable. You can adjust these on out to about 80% let off. So um, this is a nice, smooth, binary cam system. Has a really good draw cycle to it. One of the better draw cycles on, on any of the bows that I've shot this year. Um, this is a draw specific cam and it is a 27 and a half to a 31 inch draw uh, specific cam and has it is available in half inch increments. Uh, this bow weighs 4.1 pounds as it is. Uh, has a unique uh, really cool uh, draw, or a draw stop system, cable guard system. Actually comes back and takes a little bit of the, the pressure off your riser. Has a really smooth draw system to it. Got a little rubber there pops back, hits that rubber when it comes back down. Um, also has a couple of uh, limb savers on the top, limb saver on the bottom, draw stop on here, or a, a string stop on here, and has a limb saver on there as well. Uh, strings on this, are going to be a little bit different color. Com 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 yeah. com when you get a different color option, excuse me. Uh, so different color strings for different color options, but the strings are in really, really good shape after, I've been shooting this bow for a month, and the stretch has been very, very minimal. You can see my peep sight there. Uh, there's my D-loop, and it's just almost exactly where I set this thing when I started shooting it a month ago. Uh, a couple of stops on on the uh, string here. You can see I got one on top, one on bottom, black and red, and just an outstanding bow. Really good grip at shooting. You're shooting off the riser. Got a couple side plates on each side. Um, just an outstanding grip. Good limbs, good cams, good pocket system. Has a wide stance to the uh, pocket system on this thing. It allows it to absorb a little bit of vibration, a little bit more vibration uh, than normal. Good, strong structure to this riser. And just this thing is absolutely vibration free on the shot. Really, really quiet. Good draw cycle to it as well. Um, the speeds that we've been getting out of this bow. I've actually tested this bow. I had some problems with my chronograph, so I took this bow up to a local shop. Um, Shannon up at Bow Freaks allowed me to come in and use his chronograph and we, we tested this bow with a couple different arrows and with each arrow that we tested we shot a 350 grain, we shot a 400 grain, we shot a 422 grain uh, arrow and we shot this thing at 65 pounds. This is this is my bow and it actually uh, peaks out at 65 pounds. So 65 pounds, 27 and a half inch draw. Um, I don't remember all the numbers exactly but I do remember it was it was about four to five feet per second slow from the uh, rating that it should have been getting with those setups. So overall, that's not too bad. Um, some of the bows that we test, you know, are 10 or 15 feet per second below their IBO rating. And keep in mind, this is straight out of the box. It has had a minimal amount of tuning, just basically enough tuning to get my arrow flying straight. Um, but I have not done any kind of special tuning or anything like that to the bow. This is just straight out of the box. So, so really, that kind of uh, uh, speed loss compared to the IBO rating for it's really not that bad. I know on a 422 grain arrow I was getting uh, 274 I believe was was about what I was getting out of it. We'll put in some video so you guys can see that. But you know 274 with that heavy of an arrow, which that's not real heavy compared to my uh, my hog setup, but with that heavy an arrow at 65 pounds at 27 and a half inch draw, just a little bit off of what it should be getting, but overall not too bad. Sweet shooting little bow um, and outstanding looking. Just absolutely one of the sharpest bows that you're going to see out there. So I'll show you some close-ups of this bow. We'll show you those speed tests that we were talking about. And I'm going to take this thing out here and grab some arrows and we're going to do a little bit of shooting. Really.
Okay, so we're gonna be shooting this thing at, like I said, 65 pounds and 27 and a half inch draw. I'm gonna be shooting my Deer Crossing SD arrows, which weigh in at 425 grains. These are my hunting arrows. And because a lot of people have been asking, yes, I am shooting a new release. This one is actually a Wayland Cooker. I've been trying a couple different kinds, and this is what I'm currently shooting. So, uh, back to the bow. This has a just butter smooth draw cycle on it. It has a very, very smooth draw cycle on it. Um, outstanding grip. I really like the grip to it. I like shooting off the riser. i got smaller hands. This settles into my hand uh, pretty good. Like I said, good draw cycle to it. A little bit of a hump right there. Once you get over that and you get it back here, according to how you have your, your draw stop set, I have mine set at factory. But once you get it back here, well, you ain't, you're not holding nothing. As far as creep goes, with the factory setting, I mean, I can creep with this thing. It doesn't want to take off. Um, just, I mean, it, it's it's a great little hunting boat because you can sit here and hold this thing forever. As far as stability goes, it's got a really good stability to it at, at full draw. And you can see there, just as quiet as can be. This boat is, is extremely quiet. Um, just a small amount of vibration to it, nothing too bad. Um, like I said, a real, little bit of noise, really, really quiet. Uh, again, draw cycle, a little bit of hump right there. Boy, once you get over it, absolutely great. Drop back wall on this thing, solid. You can see I'm pulling as hard as I can. That cam's not moving, there's absolutely no mush to this back wall. Just a great, great shooting bow. I mean, absolutely butter smooth and uh, outstanding accuracy. Seven inch brace height bow. Um, I can put up just really tight groups at 20, 30, 40 yards. Just absolutely confident with it as far as my accuracy goes. Tuning was easy. Um, I broadhead tuned it, got out of the box, walked back to it, broadhead tuned it, and tuning on it was very, very simple. I uh, didn't have any trouble as far as tuning goes. Um, clearance wise too, because this cable guard kind of leans in, a lot of people have kind of worried about clearance with that, but it actually sets up a little bit higher um, so the way from your arrows. So I don't have any issues with clearance as far as the my rest getting into that, that uh, cable guard or my veins trying to hit the strength. So I got absolutely no problem with uh, clearance on this thing. Really, really quiet bow. That's one of the things that I, I like about most about this bow is just how quiet it is. I mean, keep in mind it's a 422 grain arrow, but it's still just quiet and just absolutely uh, very little vibration, very little noise on the shot on this bow. So there it is. That's the uh, Fusion 7 from Obsession Archery. And like I said, just an outstanding looking bow. They have this available in a lot of different color options. Um, see a lot of them out there and with the red where I've got the standard uh, camo on here and red cams and they look really cool. Orange, they got red, white, and blue. They got green. They got a ton of different options on here and just a smooth draw and great feeling. Uh, very steady on the shot. Very accurate, very forgiving bow. Um, I have absolutely no complaints about this bow other than it falling just a little bit short of the IBO speed rating and um, like I said really you know it, it was shooting about 274 and with the the 65 pound rating on it and with my setup you know it should have been getting around 277 to 280 somewhere in that range so really you know five to six feet per second is not that bad at all when it comes to a bow like this and you know keep in mind that's a 422 grain arrow so my kinetic energy and momentum are still still up there quite a bit um just a, a great little bow just an outstanding offering from obsession and one that i am very very happy with and i'm going to be very very happy with to to cart off to the woods with me this year and hopefully kill kill an animal or two with it so uh, absolutely great little bow from obsession one of my favorite bows from the ata show and now that i've had it in my hands for a month um, proves me right as far as what what I thought at the ATA show since I had a limited uh, experience with them there 
but it proved me right that this is one of my favorite bows of the year. Definitely one of my favorites in the top two of my bows for the year. Um, you guys can guess about what the other one is. That's right a neck and neck with this bow, but it is an outstanding bow and definitely going to be making a trip to the woods with me this year uh, to harvest some animals. So check this out. They got a ton of great bows and a ton of great options. Uh, you can check out the link below. That will take you straight to Obsession's website. And for more product reviews, how-to videos, be sure to check out our website at ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.